أحمده وأصلي على رسول الكريم أما بعد. Some people may think that you know the Halloween or horror weekend, which is even worse, as I will show you, that happened in Saudi Arabia in this area of Najd that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam warned us against. That the celebration of horror that happened in Riyadh. That this is just fun. It's not really that big of a deal. It's a big deal because it's happening near Mecca and Medina. But otherwise it's not really that big of a deal. Today I want to show you the seriousness of this situation. And some of the prophecies of the Prophet ﷺ that I'm going to go into some detail about. And I'm going to shed light on some very important facts. Because we're headed in a very negative destruction. But I want you to see something the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said to one man, and now I say to every Muslim who participated in these silly events, O man, O person, O brother, O sister, Ara alayka. Or ara alayki, I see on you, libas, clothings, costumes, man la ya'qal, of a person who has no intelligence. Let's come back to the saying of the Prophet ﷺ. Every now and then as we discuss the seriousness of this event. You see, I'm showing you the website of the Church of Satan. This is the website of the church, the official website of churchofsatan.com. Halloween. What do they say about Halloween? Halloween is their main celebration of the year. Halloween is traditionally a time when a Obscure portal into the realms of darkness, death, and the supernatural is thrown upon us. Demons and spirits have free reign for one night, enticing us into the revels and revealing glimpses into the future. This, my brothers and my sisters, do toba for our brothers and sisters in Riyadh in the area of Naj that did this. And I don't know why every Salafi scholar is not screaming at the loudest voice he has possible to condemn this nonsense. So, this is a night, as a matter of fact, in which crimes increase significantly. This is a fact. This is a night, as I will show you, a video of a witch, a Wicca lady who tells us of what happens on this night of Halloween, on the 31st of October. And what does this night have to do with Ya'juj and Ma'juj? So this is some of the things that I will be talking about. But before I share with you uh, what this lady says about the uh, about the night uh, of of Halloween. Let me also tell you what the Church of Satan tells. What holidays do Satanists celebrate? Right, and lo and behold, they celebrate what the night the thirtieth and the thirty first of what October Halloween that's the night the Satanists celebrate 
That's the night the Satanists celebrate, O oh Muslims of Mecca and Medina and Najd and Saudi Arabia. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with the Salafi scholars who will not speak out against this? Now, let me share with you what this Wicca lady says. Uh, Christians and non-Christian mouth about God revealing himself to you that ask you, what is witchcraft have to do with Halloween? Halloween is just trick or treat, children having fun, costume parties, uh, Christians and non-Christians alike celebrating. The Christians can say, we don't think anything about uh, uh, the, the, the bad things from Halloween. But let's start out for basics. What is Halloween? Well, Halloween is a celebration of the dead. And it started out with Celtic Druids years and years and years and years ago. And we're going to see what these Celtic Druids have to do with Yadjuj and Majuj. This whole entire <coughs> holiday or day was created to summons up the god of, of the dead and they would they would basically call on this the people who had passed on who were in the graves for their spirits to come and roam through the earth on this day that they believed that there was a veil that was thin crossing over from summer into the next month. They believed that that veil was thin going into the next season. And so because the veil was thin between the spirit world and the earth world, that the two could collide. And so that's what they wanted. It was all steeped in witchcraft. It was all steeped in communicating with the dead. That's the original root and origin of this holiday. So much so that they believe that this happened and they felt this happening, that they would disguise themselves in costumes so that these spirits that were roaming around the earth on this day, that they wouldn't try to take vengeance out on them as a human, mm. that they would, the spirits would see them dressed up as a, a ghost and they would pass the human by and go to the next one. And so that's where we incorporate costumes and dressing up. That's why a lot of times when you see costumes, although you see nice angels and things, but most of them are scary they are horrific. They're ghouls and goblins and all the things that bring fear. And, and by the way, if there's one spirit that we've seen rear its ugly head because of COVID, it's the spirit of fear. We don't and that's actually a very important part of magic, right? Horror, as this is called the Horror Weekend. I need anything in addition Come on. Uh, to, to bring fear on people. Right. Uh, but... Uh, do you think, or no, I'm just curious, do, wit do witches use Halloween as a point of contact to uh, either recruit people or harm people? Yes, absolutely. Now, I will, I will tell you this. For me in my life, when I was practicing witchcraft, I wasn't around witches and warlocks who were doing what I would call like evil things. At least in my view, it wasn't too bad, like sacrifices, killing animals, even kidnapping children, all of these things. I wasn't around that group, but I did know, which most people know, that that thing does happen. This is a day that witches and Satanists look forward to, like Christians look forward to Resurrection Sunday or Christmas, or celebrating Jesus. This is a holiday that, People are, are witches, Satanists, people that are doing sorcery and magic. They are on high alert. They will rest all that whole week so that that night they can be up throughout the night practicing spells, the craft, even roaming around. You notice that if you look at statistics that night, there's more kidnappings. There's more uh, people going missing. There's more crime. There's more murders that happen. That night is like the devil's play play night and and even the person that uh started the satanic church he's passed on now but he said he loves that christians allow their children to participate and worship the devil at least one night of the year 
So now let me go back to what our beloved Prophet said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam I just Ala ara alayka libas al-man la ya'qal I see on you clothes of a person who has no intelligence No intelligence You have clothes and costumes that show that you have lack of intelligence Low intelligence And I'm going to show you the some of the aspects of the crime that she was talking about that on Halloween how much so I'm sure hundred percent hundred percent because these are people of low intelligence from top to bottom okay that I'm sure when they had these events and they had all the girls dancing and all the men dancing when they were doing all this there was a lot of crimes committed a lot of crimes committed and We'll go into the link of all of this with Ya'juj and Ma'juj, but let me just uh, first touch upon a few other things, okay? In Sahih Bukhari, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, لَا يُحَجَّنَنَّ الْبَيْتُ وَلَا يُعْتَمَرَّنَ بَعْدَ الْخُرُوجِ Ya'juj wa Ma'juj O Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet said, you will definitely, definitely be doing Hajj. And you will definitely, definitely be doing Umrah. Ba'da khuruj, ya'juj wa ma'juj. After the khuruj, the appearance of ya'juj and ma'juj. So what does ya'juj and ma'juj have to do with this? I'm going to explain very clearly in a brand new way that I don't think has been explained before. I was going to do a special episode on this, but I'm going to do one bigger episode just on this with more details later. But today I'm going to give you uh, some information of Ya'juj and Ma'juj. And then the Prophet said, لا تكون مساعة The hour will not come حتى, uh, حتى يحج البيت uh, that the uh, the hour will not come till what? Till the Hajj is abandoned. Now, in this narration, I want you to remember the Prophet says Hajj will continue while Ya'juj and Ma'juj is there, and then the Prophet said Hajj will be abandoned. So the coming out of Ya'juj and Ma'juj is a sign that Hajj will continue, but then it will come to being abandoned. Why? Well, look at what Saudi Arabia is doing. Look at the direction that they're going in. But don't take my word for it. We're going to take this step by step. But I want to say to the brothers and sisters in Riyadh who did this nonsense, silly act, the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ala ara alayka libas al man la ya'qal. Surely I see on you clothings of a person who has no intelligence. You have costumes of a person who has no intelligence. You are a person of no intelligence when you have nothing to do in life but act like a monkey or act like a zombie or act like some horror, horror movie thing. And when you act uh, something other than yourself, right? And then you have no aql because you don't know that this is part of magic. Just like astrology is part of magic, Halloween is part of magic. Okay, You have no aql because you don't realize you were involved in something that increased the level of crimes on your brothers and sisters in that time. You have no aql because you think you're, this is, what is this, progress? What is this doing? Going to take you to the space? It's going to make you a fortune. It's going to, this is going to make Saudi Arabia rich. This is going to make Saudi Arabia dependent upon, uh, go outside the dependency of oil and become some big, this is what Saudi Arabia's plan is? That to bring people and make them stupider, to bring people and, 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 and make them dress in a way that, 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 uh, takes away their humanity and brings them into harm's way with evil eye and magic and, and, and hasad and so on and so forth. Okay, so just put that all to the side. But dear brothers and sisters in Riyadh, I say to you what the Prophet says, Ala ara alayka libasa man la ya'qal. Surely I see on you clothes of a person who has absolutely no intelligence, no discernment whatsoever. So, a nafi' 
an Umar in the golden chain of narrations of hadith. Dhakar an Nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet did dua. Allahumma barik lana shamina. O oh Allah, have blessings for the people of Syria, for the people of Damascus. Allahumma barik lana fi Yamanina. O oh Allah, have barakah for the people of Yemen. And then some people from Najd, where Riyadh is, where Riyadh is, where Riyadh is. They said, O oh, Prophet of Allah, do dua for our people in Najd. Qala, the Prophet prayed again. Allahumma barik lana fi shamina. Allahumma barik lana fi yamanina. And the Prophet again did dua for Syria and for Yemen. Qalu ya Rasulullah wa fi najdina. And they said, O oh, Prophet of Allah, do dua for Najd. And, and the third time the Prophet said, Hunalika zalazilu wal fitan. This is where the earthquakes will happen and from where these fitans will start. And it is from here that the Qarn of Shaitan will happen. Okay? From where the rise of the Qarn of Shaitan, the, the horn of Shaitan will rise here. The horn of Shaitan will rise here. Now, let me tell you about this. The place where the horn of Shaitan rises is the place where you deal with magic. It is the place. In fact, the horn is one of the symbols of magic also. But I'm not going to go into that today. The horn of shaitan will rise here. The fitans will rise from here. And we know the history of Najd. And we know what Najd is doing now. Let me... But none of our Salafi brothers are going to speak against Riyadh. None of our Salafi brothers will condemn their own. Because it takes guts to do that. It does take guts to do that. It takes guts to stand up to your own and criticize them when they are wrong. But dear brothers and sisters, we're at a point that your love for dunya and your love for your associations, where your love for your whatever associations, this is not time for that. This is time to speak up. Speak up. Otherwise, I will say that the clothes that you wear, what? Ala ara alayka libasan lima ya man la ya'qal that if you allowed them to wear the costumes and you wear the costumes of the rich of the of the, you wear the costumes of the pious and having worn the costumes of the pious you don't speak the truth i will say to you ala ara alayka libasa man la ya'qal i see on you clothes of a person who does not have intelligence your religious garb is useless if you don't have the ability to speak against this shirk. Let us continue, inshallah. So let me show you, before I show you the horrifying pictures, Riyadh celebrates its horror weekend. Okay, Riyadh celebrates its horror weekend. And where is Riyadh? Where, where is Najd? Historic Najd was divided into three modern administrative regions still in use today. Riyadh region, okay, which is the Riyadh region is one of the regions of Najd, okay. And this is the place that the Prophet ﷺ refused to do dua for. But, but, you should do dua for Allah to forgive the brothers and sisters in Riyadh who did this nonsense. And you should do dua for the brothers and sisters in Riyadh to Allah increase their intelligence. Because it seems to me 
that they're wearing clothes that show that they have no intelligence, that they wore clothes. They did something that shows the lack of intelligence. They thought they're becoming what? American? They thought what? They're becoming their white masters? They thought what? That they're going to now become as uh, powerful as America? What did they think they would achieve by this? Except wasting money? except decreasing modesty, except increasing in crime, and except in, in, in decreasing their own intelligence. Opening the doors of the shayateen on the Muslim families, Astaghfirullah, may Allah protect. May Allah protect. But the Prophet spoke the truth. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, or rather this event happened, Okay, that دخل علينا دخل علينا فزع. The Prophet ﷺ entered us in a, this state of like surprise and fear, like shock and terror. The Prophet was in a state of terror because of what? And he said, La ilaha illallah. There's no divine, no power other than Allah. Wailul lil Arab. Woe upon the Arabs. Bisharrin qad iqtarab. Because of the evil that has now come near them. Some evil has now come near them. What is that evil? فُتِحَ يَوْمٌ مِنْ رَدْمِ يَعْجُوجُ وَمَعْجُوجُ مِثْلِ هَذَا The Prophet said that today a hole has been made in the dam of Ya'juj and Ma'juj. So who are Ya'juj and Ma'juj? We will come to that. Like this. And he said, and he was asked by Zainab, his wife, رضي الله عنها, Qultu, she said, Ya Rasulullah, O Messenger of Allah, anuhliku wa fi'ina salihun. Are we going to be destroyed while there are good people amongst us? Will we be destroyed while there are good people amongst us? Qala na'am. He said, yes. Ida kathurul khabath. When the evil of it increases. And you know this word khabath is the same word we use when we go to the bathroom. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min khabathi wal khabaith. The shayateen. When the shayateen will increase. You do these Halloween parties and you're going to invite a lot of khabith entities. When the evil increases because you're inviting the Khabith. And what did the pro what did Zainab radiallahu anha has said? Will we be destroyed? And what did the Prophet say in the previous narration about Najd? The Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Hunalika, this is where the earthquakes will be. O oh, people of Riyadh, O oh, people of Riyadh, beware of earthquakes coming close to you now. Zainab radiallahu anha said, Will we be destroyed? Earthquakes, and the Prophet said, Earthquakes will come in Najd. And you have invited the Khabath by doing this Halloween party. By inviting the shayateen on the Muslim families. Ask Allah for protection. Ask Allah for forgiveness. Such a big crime. Such a big crime. Such a big humongous crime. You, you may think you are making tall buildings. And that's such a great achievement. But the sin... And the travesty and the evil 
that you have just done is greater than those tall buildings. You have fallen into the very thing the Prophet was warning us of the very thing he was frightened about. About the very thing he was frightened about. And so, let me go back to what the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, Allah, beware. Ara alayka, I see upon you libas, clothings and costume, malla yaqil. Of someone who has no intelligence, you're shooting your own feet. You're shooting your own feet. But this is not where we end. Because there is a lot more to discuss. So now let us discuss one aspect of Ya'juj and Ma'juj. But before I do that, I want to show you all something. This is the video from two years ago. Let me show you what happened. The OFWs, all female. So they had a Halloween party two years ago, and this is what happened. Males were arrested in a Halloween party in a private compound on October 26. They were among a number of Saudis and foreign nationals apprehended in the Halloween party. Ambassador to Saudi Arabia Adnan Alonto says the temporary release of the OFWs was due to the strong representations made by the embassy with Saudi authorities. Alonto adds authorities may file charges against the Filipinos for violating Sharia law which prohibits interaction, especially in public, among unattached men and women. The DFA reminds OFWs, particularly those in the Middle East, to respect the laws and traditions of their host countries. The Department of Foreign Affairs, or DFA, says Saudi Arabia turned over 19 arrested overseas Filipino workers to the Philippine ambassador. So you get the point, right? So this is what was happening two years ago. And this is one of the problems that you have a young population in Saudi Arabia, a young population, and they're all thirsty for the West because Saudi Arabia failed. Saudi Arabia failed. Saudi Arabia failed with its version of Islam to convince its youth to have a proper Islamic lifestyle. You know why Saudi Arabia failed to convince its youth of a proper Islamic lifestyle? I'll tell you why. Because the leadership itself did not want an Islamic lifestyle. And what has happened with this Halloween, believe me, you, what has happened with this horror weekend is worse, is worse, is worse and more of a travesty than the women taking off their hijabs in Iran. Now let us continue inshallah to the next part of my discussion. So now I want you to consider, you know, this uh, this, look at this, look at this. This is clothings of people who have no, look at this lady dancing, being immodest. She's dancing with niqab on. I mean, that's like so silly, but it's, it's the, look at this guy. Look at this guy. I mean, astaghfirullah, I shouldn't be making fun of people like this, but look at this. This is nonsense. They're in this clothing, then, and then who sold them this? Hold, sold them all these costumes. Right? And here's Mecca and Medina. Right? Here's Mecca and here's Mecca. This is supposed to, and look at these tall, idiotic buildings. You know, buildings of people who have no intelligence. And clothings now of people who have no intelligence. And now, instead of focusing on the Kaaba, instead of focusing on Islam, Najd is raising its head. Najd is raising its head. Okay, why even Christians should not celebrate Hal? Even Christians understand this. The founder of the Church of Satan said that by dressing up, either by wearing a costume or coloring oneself, Hal is is an evil. It's like doing magic. You're participating in astrology, and all these people. Look, what are these people doing? Think of all the money that was wasted. Okay, horror weekend. Okay, and this brother he said Miladun Nabi is banned. But this whore weekend is okay. Where are the Salafi brothers? 
the Salafi scholars to speak against this. Okay? Meanwhile, the dozen dozen of Muslim communities across the world wrecked and radicalized by Saudi funded, right? And now look at what they're doing, right? Radicalized with Salafism and the extremism of Salafism and now this is what they're promoting. They're going from promoting a religion to this. The people who have low intelligence, these people, they all have low intelligence. They're all colonized minds. They're all colonized minds who worship America, right? Look at these firecrackers, right? Look at the immodesty that's going to take place here, right? Look at this, look at this. People don't know, they, they've forgotten how to walk, right? Because they're acting their part. And now foreigners and Muslims all, all doing this crazy stuff. It's just... It's just amazing the amount of like, the only people that benefited are the people who sold the costumes. They're the only people who benefited. Otherwise, everyone else was of low intelligence and just wasted their money. Right? And all that the Muslims learned is that they should worship the West. They should worship America and worship the American lifestyle. Right? Forget about the Kaaba. Forget about the Deen. Forget about the truth. Forget about that how many Muslims gave their life to bring Islam to this area of Najd where this, 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 uh, this party is taken, this horror weekend. So many more Muslims died bringing Islam to Najd this area of Saudi Arabia than all the Muslims that died in Syria and Egypt and Yemen. All the people that died in these three places was less than the Muslims and the companions of the Prophet that died in the area of Najd bringing Islam there. Okay? And so, the government, and it's not even like somebody just did a private party. This is government sponsored horror weekend. Government sponsored horror weekend. It's government Saudi government sponsored weekend okay and instead of bringing islam and fighting for islam what are they doing they're acting like they have no intelligence they're wearing clothes of someone who has low intelligence i don't know what to say to you guys and even though new york news new york times sorry has this Special article, Hall Saudi Halloween, once banned holiday, now haunted by masked monsters. You can do all this, but I'll tell you. لن ترضى أنك اليهود ولا النصارى حتى تتبع ملتهم The Jews and the Christians, the Judeo-Christian civilization will never be happy with you until you follow their millah, until you follow their way. And when you follow their way, you forgot your way. So you want this area of Arabia, this area of Najd, now that the horns of shaitan are rising, you want them to forget about what? You want to follow them? And you know, why do you follow them, O oh people of low intelligence? Why do you follow them in stupid things? If you want to follow the West, follow the West in the good things it does. You know, when... China follows America, China takes the good things. When Japan follows America, it takes the good things. You want to leave the good things and take the stupid things. You know, I just can't help but what the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You know, what the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, Ala ara alayka libasan liman la yaqal. Surely I see on you clothes of a person who has no intelligence. You have worn costumes now that show you have no intelligence. So here's another news, news article uh, from Arab News. Halloween revelers experience glory and gore, gore on, in Riyadh Boulevard. And guess what? Dressed up visitors were granted free entry to the boulevard on the condition that they wore scary costumes and spooky costumes in this scary weekend representing the Halloween night. 
okay? My dear brothers and sisters of low intelligence, you did a great, great travesty against your own selves. A great travesty. A great travesty against your own selves. But part of the travesty is that it, this was actually a springboard for something else, which is this movie, right? So they got all these people wearing scary costumes coming in, and then they had this, you know, kind of like a, a, a stage, a showcasing of a film, a showcase, showcasing of a Saudi horror film, okay, by a Junoon, okay, Junoon. Junoon means going crazy. Right? Set stage for Halloween. Okay? Riyadh Halloween begins early with its nationwide premiere of the newest Saudi horror film, Janun. <coughs> Directed by ABCD. On Wednesday, the premiere was held in Saudi Arabia's biggest movie theater in Boulevard Riyadh City. With 485 guests, media personalities, content creators, filmmakers in attendance. <coughs> the event also featured hired extras playing but bloodied zombie victims bloodied zombie victims right so across the world you spread this salafi thought this extreme way of of being harsh on yourself religion this kind of like you're bad if you don't do this judgmental islamic religion and this is what you're doing in the inside now this is what you've become oh brothers and sisters of the salafi movement Please stand up and say something. Oh, brothers and sisters of the Salafi movement, please stand up and say something. Why don't I see the big personalities that promote the Salafi da'wah speak out against this? Why don't they speak out against this? So now, let us continue to the link between Arabia and the coming of Ya'juj and Ma'juj, as we read, the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ya'juj and Ma'juj will be there, and there will be no war, it will be peace, and it will come to a point where there's no Hajj. And we read from the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that in his lifetime, Ya'juj and Ma'juj broke the dam, the wall of Zulqarnayn. So who is the Prophet talking about? And what does it have to do with this Halloween, this night. And you have invited the Khabath. A'udhu Billahi Min Khabathi You've invited the Shayateen by doing this Halloween magic night, celebrating it. And then now, not only that, you only celebrate this, now you are per, per, you're going to now create a mass. You're going to create a movie that's now going to further brainwash people in this, in this direction. Unfortunate for the people of low intelligence. Unfortunate for those whom the Prophet's words would fit when the Prophet said, Ala ara alayka libasan liman la ya'qal. Beware, uh, or be, let it be known, or beware of the fact that I see on you clothes of someone who has no intelligence. O oh, Muhammad bin Salman, I see in you clothes of a person who has no intelligence. You know, and O oh, scholars of Islam that don't speak up against this after wearing your religious garb and your 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 fake pious virtuousness, if you don't speak up against this, then your clothings tell me you are a person of low intelligence, because the person of high intelligence is the one who speaks the truth. And the person of low intelligence is the one who thinks of his self-interests, his associations. Now, let's go on. So, Bismillah, now, I want to talk about something that is rather a very complicated subject and will require many hours for me to express the whole entirety of the subject. But I will hope that I'm able to express this in a new way and in a powerful way to explain the link of why the prophet mentioned woe unto the jews or sorry woe unto the arabs woe unto the arabs and then the prophet immediately begins to talk about yajuj and majuj 
And the Prophet talks about the presence of Ya'juj and Ma'juj um, while Hajj and Umrah is being done. And the Prophet وسلم, talks about how the Qarn of Shaitan will rise from Najd. And the Prophet talks about earthquakes. And the Prophet talks about that when the Khabath increases, the, the evil increases, there will be punishments. But why did the Prophet link two times in two different narrations the link of Ya'juj and Ma'juj with the Arabs? Hajj and Umrah and Ya'juj and Ma'juj were mentioned. And then the Prophet mentioned La ilaha illallah, right? Woe unto the Arabs. And then the Prophet said, Today a hole has been put in the wall of Ya'juj and Ma'juj. Woe unto the Arabs. And then the Prophet continues to tell us about a hole in the in the dam of Ya'juj and Ma'juj. So now the first thing I want you to understand that in it is found in the Hapalo group, the R1A, which is uncommon in Middle Eastern or amongst Sephardi Jews. So there is this part of the gene called RA1, R1A, sorry, R1A amongst the Jews, but dominant in Eastern Europe and is present in over 50% of Eskenani Levites, meaning European Jews have this part of their genome, okay, that can be called R1A, R1A, who? The European, who? The European Jews. Okay. Now let me share with you what they found in the burial sites of two Khazarial burial sites. Okay. Of the two excavated Khazar bone remains, okay, what did they find? We've extracted and analyzed their DNA, showed that both belong to the Hapa, hap, uh, haplu group R1A, meaning that they have a similar genome, white European Eskenani Jews, and the Khazaris from the Khazari Empire have something in common. But not only that, they have something, the white European Jews that have the R1A and the and the Khazari Jews of the Khazari Empire. If you don't know about this, go study this because this is how the white people partly became Jewish. But there were other ways that Jewish people were coming to Rome for almost 2,000 years. I accept that. But this was an empire, a empire of the Jewish people, the Khazari people. And their genome is the same as the white European Jewish Eskenani Jewish genome, which is that it shares with it, what? It shares with it the genome of R1A, okay? And what? Uh, and then also R1A, which is uncommon amongst Middle Eastern or amongst Sephardi Jews, but dominant amongst Eastern European, present in more than 50% of the Eskenani Jews. Okay? So now, this is one aspect, but what does this all connect with? This is what I wanted to share with you. The Scythians, the Scythians, the Scythians belong to a diverse haplogroups, mostly clads of R1b and R1a. So here we have amongst at least many, many, I think at least more than, definitely more than four different, uh, definitely more than four other reasons, powerful reasons, but a link between the Scythians and the Khazaris and the Khazaris and the European Jews. That is their genome. R1A. Now, why do I say this? Because where did the Scythians live? And where did the Khazaris live? And what does it have to do with Ya'juj and Ma'juj? This is all very, very important. When, in understanding these traditions of the Prophet, 
and what is happening in the world today. So now let me explain this step by step and then come back to those people who have low intelligence because of the clothes that they wear. So let's be clear that between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea was a Jewish, a strong Jewish empire uh, and they founded, they founded the capital of Kiev over here, which is, so the Khazaris were the ones who established the, 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 the city of Kiev that's in Ukraine today. Now, I don't want to talk about Kiev and Ukraine and all that today, but I want to establish a link between Khazaria and the Scythians and explain to you that these European Jews that are in Israel today, okay, and the Halloween that was practiced. Now, the Halloween that is practiced in Saudi today comes from the Scythians and comes from Ya'juj and Ma'juj. This is what I'm trying to establish. And I'm trying to establish that this has the fingerprints of Ya'juj and Ma'juj. So listen carefully to what I'm saying. I first established a genetic link between the Khazaria and the Scythians. And the Scythians are also the great, uh, the great father, grandfathers, or ancestors of the Celtics. And Halloween started from the Celtics. You can look this up. I can't go into every single detail like I'm giving a college course. But the Celtics established this the the tradition of Halloween. Okay? And now as far as the link between Khazaria and Scythians and how they have now ended up in Israel and they're going and they're now trying to enter into Saudi Arabia by talking about their Jewish kingdoms in Saudi Arabia and by going to uh, having their journalists and everyone and businessmen coming to Saudi Arabia, we all know about this, and I'm sure you've all seen this. Now, let me talk about a few other things that are important to establish some links between the Scythians and the Khazaria people. Okay, actually, I'm just going to do it quickly rather than showing you everything because I'll do that for another time. The Scythians were expert horse riders. The Khazarians were expert horse riders. The Scythians were expert. They were, um, they loved, they dealt with a lot of gold jewelry. The Scythians. The Khazaris did the same. Okay. They lived in the same location. Please see this part that look where the Khazaria empire is. And now let me show you where the Scythians, and now let me show you where the Scythians were. But let me also add this since I have this page here in the seventh century, meaning, okay. Uh, the Scythians crossed the Caucasus Mountains, okay? So they crossed the Caucasus Mountains. So that place where you see the Khazarians, okay? They crossed those mountains. Now, so you see here in, in this, emp uh, this Khazari Empire that was Black Sea, between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. And over here you will see now the Scythians occupied the same area. You see now the Scythia is here between the Caucasus Mountains, between the Black Sea and between the Caspian Sea. And you have this third sea over here, a small one that you also see in this map over here. Okay, so this is later. This is after Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Khazaria Empire was established. Before that, okay, it was like this. This was the Scythians. And they had no way to go around from the desert in the east because that's the area of Khorasan. They had no way to go around the Black Sea. So the only way was through the, uh, the pass through the Caucasus Mountains. Okay. So now let me talk about that for a second and you'll see how this all ties up with Halloween. So Kiev, which is the capital city of Ukraine, was established by the Khazars. Okay. So the ancient inhabitants, inhabitants, inhabitants of Italy were chiefly Celtics or a mixture of Celtics and Scythians. So part of the Scythians has to do with the Khazars 
and it has to do with the Irish, Scottish, Celtics, those people. The influence of this people on the world, okay? The white Jews go from Germany to Israel, and the white influence of a certain group of white people around the world. And they brought Halloween to the world as they brought scientism into the world, as they brought feminism into the world, as they brought industrialism and modernity to the world. So this is the world of, you can say, Ya'juj and Ma'juj. What is the proof of that? There's tons of proof of that. And I don't have time to go into this right now. But I have previous episodes that discuss this in detail. But I have shown you a genetic link between the Khazaris and the Scythians. And I've shown you the link between the Scythians and the Celtics. And the Celtics are the ones that started Halloween. And that's what has been imported in this area of Najd now. And so while Zulqarnain tried to stop the fitans of Fasad, now the Qarn of Shaitan has risen in Najd, bringing back Ya'juj and Ma'juj's civilization, their barbaric ways, their magic and astrology and their, their uh, Halloween. There is so much more to say, but I will rest at this today and inshallah one day I'll talk in m more detail because gathering the information that I've gotten from here and here and here in different ways and bringing it all together will be a, a tough task. But I will do that, inshallah, and bring it all together, how it all comes together. But the most important thing is to go back to a few things the Prophet said, sallallahu alayhi wa and we will end with the Qur'an. The Prophet says, Ala ara alayka libasam man la ya'qal. Indeed, I see on you clothes and costumes of a person who has no intelligence. And the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, He said, La yuhajjuna al bayt. You will do hajj to the house. Wa la ya'muranna ba'd al khuruj. Ya'juj wa Ma'juj. You will continue to do Hajj and Umrah even after Ya'juj and Ma'juj comes out. And then the Prophet said, وسلم, the hour will not happen. لا تقوم الساعة حتى لا يحج البيت until you will not any longer do Hajj. So what will happen between what is the link between Ya'juj and Ma'juj? You will continue to do Hajj and Ya'juj and Ma'juj is there. What is the link between that and you will no longer do Hajj? It is some sort of fitna that will rise to stop Hajj. Where will this fitna come out from? The link between Surah Al-Kahf with the word Qarn and this Hadith with the word Qarn. Over this Qarnain. Here is Qarn. What? Qarnu Shaytan. Where in the area of Najd? Where in the Ara Arabian Peninsula? Where Hajj and Umrah is done? That Ya'juj and Ma'juj will have an impact by the rise of the Qarn of Shaytan. So the Prophet prayed, Allah, barik lana fi shamina. Allahumma barik lana fi yamanina. Ameen. O oh Allah, give us barakah in Syria and barakah in Yemen. Ameen. And then they said, what about Najd? And the Prophet said, Hunalika zalazilu. Uh, zal, zal, this is where the earthquakes will happen. Wal fitan. And the fitnas will happen. Wabiha yatla'u qarnu shaytan. On this area will come the qarn of shaytan. So Ya'juj and Ma'juj were doing fasad in the world. And the Prophet says fitna will come. And it will be a place where the horns of shaitan will rise. So now you have a third hadith that I mentioned in which the Prophet said, وَيْلٌ لِلْأَرَبِ 
after saying la ilaha illallah waylul lil arab bi sharrin maqtarab for the evil for the woe unto the arabs for the evil that's come close to them right because the hole has been made in the wall of ya'juj and ma'juj i will discuss this one day in more detail and then the prophet said sallallahu alaihi wasallam she was the prophet was asked by zainab radiyallahu anha will we be destroyed and the prophet said when uh, while we have good people, we'll be destroyed. He said, إِذَا كَثَرُوا الْخَبَثِ When the khabith things increase, when the evil things increase, yes, you will be destroyed. And what do you say when you go to the bathroom? اللَّهُمَّ إِنِّي أَعُوذُ بِكْ مَنِ الْخَبَثِ You ask protection from the shayateen. What are you doing with bringing this Halloween? You're increasing the kathar wal khabath. Where are you increasing this khabath? You're increasing it in najd. And why are you increasing? What is the link? The link is that you will continue to do Hajj while Ya'juj and Ma'juj are there. Their influence is there. Their tall buildings right in front of Makkah are there. Right? The influence of the white man who taught you to make these tall buildings and now you're making these tall buildings. There's so many links here that I can't go into. But this event of the Halloween, oh my God. It has opened a Pandora box. It has opened such evil in Saudi Arabia. It has opened such evil. It has opened a door of such great, tremendous evil that I cannot begin to explain. And inshallah, one day I will explain the link between these different groups in Ya'juj and Ma'juj in Arabia. And the link between Ya'juj and Ma'juj in Arabia. And so I will end with what I started with. And then I will finally end with the Quran. The Prophet said, ﷺ, Indeed, I see on you clothes of someone who has no intelligence. And let me end with what the Quran says. Let me explain to you, And it was haram, over the town, that we destroyed. That town is not to be returned. That town is Jerusalem that was taken away from the Jewish people. Hatta until. They will be given Jerusalem when Hatta harfu shart until Hatta idha futihat when they are given conquests and victories and the doors are open for them and they are let go from their place of darkness that they were in. They were in Europe and they were in the dark ages. And then the industrial revolution started. And then they took over the whole world. And the white Jews then were allowed to come to the city. The city that they were not allowed to return. <laughs> Until they the, let loose were Ya'juj and Ma'juj. Victories were given to Ya'juj and Ma'juj. When these... Scythian people who have the same genome as the Khazari Jews, when they are let, when they are allowed to come back to Jerusalem, when they are given victories, and they will come from every elevation, from every height. Min kulli yansilun, they will come down from every elevation. They will come down because how did they come to Jerusalem? They will come to Jerusalem in plains. They will come from the north. They will come through their Yansinun, through their descendants. They will find a way back to the city that they were not allowed to be in, in the city of Jerusalem. And so, Ya'juj and Ma'juj are the number one, the Jewish people in Israel. But they have genes all over, and one of their genes is the Celtics. And the Celtics celebrated Halloween. And today we find that Halloween in the place of Najd, in the place the Prophet refused to pray. O oh, people of Najd, you have to do Tawbah to Allah. You have to do Tawbah to Allah because you have to ask permit protection from Allah from that Qarn of Shaitan. You have opened a door of Khabath, of Khabith. You have opened the door of Khabith entities, the Shayateen and the Jinn. 
You have to ask Allah for protection. You have to ask Allah for help. You have put your own, your whole people in jeopardy by this, what looked like an innocent thing. What looked like an innocent thing wasn't so innocent. You have opened a Pandora's box. You've allowed something to come into Riyadh now that was not there before. You have opened a very vicious door. And for normal people, it's just a rise in crime. For places like America, Halloween, crime spikes on Halloween, things happen. Yes. You know, people out about and things happen. Okay. But when you do the same in the Holy Land, much bigger doors open. Much more evil doors open. Much more evil doors take that opportunity once you open that door. And so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect Mecca. May Allah protect Medina. May Allah protect Al-Aqsa. May Allah forgive the Muslims who participated in this. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect the innocent Muslims who participated in this. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us intelligence. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us guidance and intelligence. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow those of you that listen to this to forward this to other people to understand the gravity of what is happening. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all of us. Ameen. Allahumma ameen. Ya Rabb. Uh, please do subscribe. Please do support my channel. Please do contribute and also become part of my Telegram uh, channel. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakat. And please, wherever you are, don't be of those people of whom it can be said, of what of what of whom the Prophet would have said, Indeed, I see on you clothings of someone who has no intelligence.